Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and in this session of the video we're going to talk about especially about this spawnification so a spawnification number so before discussing this spawnification number we will going to talk about this spawnification and why we are actually studying this spawnification number so the spawnification number or spawnification is actually helps us in identifying the fates and oils so for the for the identification of fails, fates and oils we use this spawnification number but before understanding the spawnification number we must have an idea regarding the spawnification so spawnification is actually a process that produce soap get it process that produces soap is called the spawnification so uh, that's clear so how the soap is produced soap is produced when acid and base react together and produce salt we all have that basic concept when acid and base react together they produce salt and a byproduct in this case we have an acid and base when they react together they produce a salt and a glycerol which we're going to discuss in the just in a bit so the uh, what is spawnification and spa, uh, spawnification Produ process that produces salt uh, soap uh, so so this is salt salt uh, we're coming to this concept again uh, let me write this soap again so this is soap the salt in the case of the in this case is a soap just coming to it in, in just a bit so the uh, saponification is the hydrolysis of an organic compound under basic condition in which a carboxy acid salt is one of the products so what happened this is the over acid which is the carboxylic acid or in other sense i can say it's our oil or fats whatever it could be because fats contain what carboxylic acid so it's carboxylic acid this is acid this is our oil this is acid and this is base which you're putting in which is called the base which uh, which will react when acid base react together and this is the potassium hydroxide we can take sodium hydroxide as well but we have chosen the potassium hydroxide so acid base react together they produce what salt or we can say soap so in this case this salt is actually soap and the byproduct is over is glycerol which is an alcohol get it get the idea of the spawnification so it's a process in which the soap is produced which is the hydrolysis of an organic compound that is our acid which reacts with their base which is in the potassium hydroxide now coming move towards the spawnification number so what is spawnification number be with me with each word so spawnification number is actually the quantity or number of an of milligrams of potassium hydroxide just read the first sentence then moving to moving next quantity or number forget the quantity just think about this number of milligrams of what potassium hydroxide number of what number of milligrams of potassium hydroxide required to spawnify or you can say required to convert to soap required all right so this, to spawnify what do we mean by the spawnify convert to soap or acid salt we want acid salt so we can say quantity of number of milligrams of potassium hydroxide required to spawnify the fatty acid which means to convert it into soap convert or we can say convert the soap into of the fatty acid resulting from complete hydrolysis of what one gram of fat consider that you have a one gram of fat and you have to convert it into what you want to spawnify it you want to convert it into salt consider that you have a one gram of one gram of what fate so how much quantity do you require of base to convert this gram of acid into salt so this number which is over here which is required to convert one gram or you can say spawnify one gram of acid into salt is called the spawnification number that's so much easy to grab like quantity or number of milligrams like we take the base in milligrams right we have taken we have to convert this gram into milligrams first then we you, we are going to add with this one so quantity or number of milligrams of potassium like we don't know how much milligrams but we're going to say mil quantity or number of so this number which is over here 
is actually the saponification number, which is unknown in this case if we calculate, put a number, and we can get the saponification number. So what is the saponification number? Again, quantity or number of milligrams and milligrams of potassium hydroxide required to saponify, means convert into salt, the fatty acid resulting from complete hydrolysis of one gram of fat. Now let's discuss other related things regarding the saponification number. So in this case, we have got a, a few examples that is butter and ole, um, oleomargarine and uh, before that, and we have got higher and lower saponification number. So and now we're going to cover up these things. So the amount of alkali needed to sponify given quantity of fat will depend upon a number of potassium hydroxide where this concept is used. So thus fat containing short chain fatty acid will have more potassium hydroxide. Get it? Fats containing short fatty acids will have what? More more what carboxylic acid groups per gram then longer chain fatty acid and this will take up more alkali and hence will have the higher sponif sponification number consider an example that if we have a fat containing short chain fatty acids will have what more carboxylic group per gram all right then we have what higher the sponification number so it's really clear that, uh, for example, we have a higher sponification number, which means it have more shorter chains and more shorter chains. What does more shorter chains means? It means it have more carboxylic acid group per gram. So we have the higher sponification number and in the lower sponification number. We have got long chains and lower the sponification number and lower the amount of the carboxylic group or the carboxylic acid now let's move towards the examples that is butter and oleomargarine so the butter actually are uh, containing the larger portion of short fatty acid chains so what does that mean where it does it belong it belongs to higher saponification number what 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 uh, types of the what type of fatty acid butter contents is the butyric acid which is the, about four carbon overall including carboxylic acid and caproic acids which has which has a relatively high saponification number from 22 220 20 to 230 yeah right write it i must write it down what was that it was the caproic acid which is about 220 to 230 saponification number of the caproic acid now let's move to and uh, the last example is the oleomargarine with uh, which with more long chain fatty acid has saponification number of 195 which is less than this so that, that's why we call so this is the example of the uh, lower saponification number and this is example of the higher saponification number which is the caproic acid so this is all the basic idea regarding the saponification number which we use uh, for the identification of fats in oil. Hope I cleared the basic idea. In the next video, we will talk about the acid number, uh, Polinsky number, Richard Mezil number, and a few other concepts. I hope and make them easy. And they're not big, big deal and big uh, fluffy concept. They're basically very easy to understand. So keep visiting Tykes' schooling for anything. Please comment us below.